Amid the COVID-19 recession and a strict movement control order, unemployment in Malaysia has hit a 27-year high. The Merdeka Centre says 5 to 8 percent more Malaysians will fall into poverty because of the pandemic. Poverty is defined as a situation in which one's income from job is so low that one's basic human needs cannot be met. People and families living in poverty may be unable to afford adequate housing, clean water sanitation, nutritious food, and medical care, among other basic necessities. Each country may have its own criteria for determining how many of its citizens are considered to be living in poverty. Malaysians are categorized into three different income groups. The top 20% which is T20, middle 40% which is M40 and bottom 40% B40. Income level for household B40 is less than 2500 while for the household group M40 is between 4000 to 10000 per month and for the household group T20 is more than 10000 per month. to us a bit about yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, I am working in some degree at finance department and at the same time to get more my incomes, I do some other job which is online business as my uh, second job to gain more money. Oh, so you do a second job to get more money. How does that work? Can you share your experience to us? To be honest, it's very tired, but what can I do to live in this new era with a lot of commitments? Working is just one place. Working is just one piece, it's not uh, enough, so what I do to get money is by doing online business for the side income. Well, I hope that everything went well for you. Hope the same. I just want to let everyone who struggles now know uh, that nothing is possible if you guys keep on finding uh, we don't give up and at what time you guys will achieve it later. Yes, yes, you're right, Jamiro. Last question from me. Do you want to say anything for our government regarding the problem that you are uh, you are having right now? Yes, I hope governments need to increase all salaries of workers based on their qualification because uh, on this new era, all the expenses are very high due to the economy. So please, you guys need to share all the sounds from we as a citizen. To overcome this problem, the government has established or created a ministry that has a role in strengthening and expanding urban poverty education program. For example, in Malaysia, uh, the Ministry of Federal, uh, Federal Territories and uh, Urban Wellbeing is a ministry established to prepare a comprehensive uh, action plan and implement appropriate program to address the poverty throughout the country. I can give a word that the role of government is very important in order to reduce the issue of poverty in Malaysia. It can give a huge impact on the country if the issue can be curbed successfully. Thank you. I can see that you are lining up to pay the bills. So, okay. mind if I ask, do you have any difficulty uh, when paying those bills? Well, it, yes, actually I do have, uh, have some trouble. From time to time, I've been struggling to pay these bills for the past uh, six months. Actually, just now I've been paying the bills for the, for the past two months, not, not, not yet for, for this month. And 
yeah, I've, yeah, I've been struggling to pay the bills. Well, before we before we do be given a uh, sub subsidy for, for for the water bills to to uh, lighten our burden. Okay, next questions. Uh, Mr. Kimi, what kind of bills that you usually that you usually have to pay every month? Well, we. I pay the, the usual ones like the electricity bills, the water bills, the phone bills. But because uh, of now of the pandemic, uh, my my children uh, they they've been learning through online class. So uh, so there there's an, an additional bill that is a uh, internet bill. Yes, I see. Okay. So um, next question that I would like to ask you, Mr. Kimi. Um, what, why do you have uh, problems when paying up your bills? Well, I actually, well, like I said just now, I, I work as a security guard. Only a security guard. I don't have any additional job or, or a part-time job because of the time. Well, you know, you work as a security guard. So sometimes you need to be uh, 24 hours there. Sometimes I do work, uh, I mostly work on the night shift. And also sometimes, sometimes I need to work like full shift, like 24 hours being there. Sometimes I cannot go back home, and and the salaries I get from that is very very low. Even my wife do uh, help me to to buy uh, have a nursery, own our own nursery, but still can't uh, pay pay those bills. We we need to uh, sometimes delay delay the bills. See, I see. So and I have also many uh, commitments uh, such as Kafka uh, to to our wife, and then also the uh, school school payments to to the children, the school uniforms, school shoes, and even also uh, my parents. We can see that this is what Malaysian society is facing today. They had to do more than one job to uh, a time to cover the cost of living. That is the reality for those who li uh, live with a family and live in a big city like Kuala Lumpur. One thousand words doesn't want is thousand excuses. Poverty is a really common issue that a lot of countries are facing right now. Uh, especially in middle income countries such as Malaysia. The issues of poverty should be handled by the government as they are the people who have been chosen by the citizens of this country and they are also the main party who are responsible to change the fate of the citizens. Um, it is so wrong that while the government officers are living well with pensions and fixed salaries, there is exists some part of the country where there is a community that have barely enough to survive and live uncomfortably. So, government should really have a proactive attitude in changing the fate of its people and try their best on eradicating poverty entirely. Okay, uh, can, if you don't mind me asking, can I ask a bit about yourself? Can you talk about a bit about yourself? Uh, I'm a full, I'm a full-time student uh, in one of the public university in Malaysia, and at the same time, uh, I also work as a part-time uh, food delivery uh, for GrabFood. I see. So, uh, 
You are saying that you are a full time student and a part time student. How does that work? Uh, actually, I I still student like the others. Uh, but when usually when I have a free time after my finish, uh, my class finish, I will do uh, my part time job as a delivery to earn some money to support my studies. So um, I understand that you are a part time, uh, a full time student and a part time uh, grab rider. So uh, may I ask why can't you just uh, fully committed to your class and not work? Uh, as we know uh, nowadays, uh, with the, uh, the price of good uh, rising, and including with uh, my book that required for my studies, as well as uh, the studies fees, so that is the reason why I had to do a part-time job while study to support my financial problems. Uh, I see. So you mean that you are having a financial problem? So I guess that not only Badrul are having this kind of problem. Uh, I can say that most of the Malaysian students are also having this problem. Don't you think so? Uh, yes, I, I think so because uh, maybe it become trend right now for the young people because not only just me, but uh, a few of my friends also had to do a part-time job to support their study also. I can give a word that the role of government is very important in order to reduce the uh, property issue in Malaysia. It may uh, give a huge impact for the society and the country if, the, if this issue can be curbed successfully discrimination, higher cost of living, limited access to education, and the lack of income are amongst the issues of poverty in Malaysia. The lack of income is actually one of the biggest factors that leads to the people of Malaysia to fall into poverty. This issue has been rising in Malaysia due to the minimum salaries that was been set by the government which as low as 1200 per month.